Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is Nuns with Nunchucks by Rookie Mage Games. This is a two to four player game that takes roughly 15 minutes to play and is for ages 15 and up. And in the game, you are playing a competitive card game where you're attempting to defeat your opponents with unique weaponry and other characters. You might be utilizing a prison yard magician, an intern whose name everyone forgets, or even a pack of monkeys with AK 47s. If you can defeat your enemies by dealing 15 points of damage to them before they do it to you, then you're going to survive the game. Utilize your cards and combinations as best as possible and be the victor overall. Let's go talk about the setup, how to play the game, and of course our review. The setup for the game Nuns with Nunchucks is very simple. The first thing you do is you shuffle all the cards in the deck and place it within reach of all players. Take all the damage tokens and place them next to the deck, and then take the reference cards and give one to each player. Then each player is going to draw a total of eight cards from the deck. Each player will select three of those cards and place them face down in front of them. Then each player will reveal those three cards. After that, you should have five cards left remaining in your hand. You'll choose a first player and begin the game. Yes, it's that simple. Playing the game is just as simple as the setup. What you're going to do is look at the cards in your hand. Then go ahead and choose a card that is face up in front of you on the table and play that card. After you've played that card and resolved any of its effects, it may tell you to play another card from your hand, it may tell you to play a card on the field here, or have a special ability. If it doesn't have any of those and you can no longer play any other cards, you're basically done. You're going to then take cards from your hand and replace cards that were missing on the table. So if you played one card, you'll replace it with one card in your hand. And then you're going to draw back up to five cards in your hand at the end of your turn. You are always going to play a card and use any of its effects and or combinations. And then after that, you're going to draw back up to your hand size of five after placing down up to three, totaling three cards on the table in front of you. The next player in clockwise order is gonna go ahead and take their turn playing a card and or cards if they allowed to, and then placing down three cards onto the field and drawing back up to five in their hand and rinsing and repeating. Cards are typically, typically going to do one of five different things, or it could be a combination of multiple things. If the card has an attack symbol, it's going to do damage. You can choose which player it does damage to. If it has healing power, it's going to be healing you for that number. If it has stealth, that will allow you to play a card from your hand as opposed to a card on the field. So you'll play a card, it has a stealth symbol like the intern whose name everyone forgets, you'll play this card. And then you'll select a card from your hand and also play that card as well. And that's how stealth works. If the card has this little reverse symbol, or it's a go again symbol, it's going to let you take another turn by selecting a card that's on deck or face up in front of you and playing that card. So you could have uh, all cards uh, that have a go again and you can play all the cards on your deck. Once the cards in your deck are gone though, there's no more you can play until the end of your turn. Then you have specials. Specials are cards with stars. Sometimes they let you steal cards from your opponents, whether it be in their hand or on their deck. Other times it can steal life, etc., etc. These are all different and have your, their own unique effects. And those are pretty much the main different options that you'll have for these cards here. So you're gonna continue going throughout the game, doing damage. Once a player has been eliminated, that will be because they have 15 damage or more on them at any one point in time. If that player is gone and there are only two players remaining, any damage on any cards that you have played are going to be doubled. So in this case, the monkeys is going to be three damage, but when there's only two players in the game left, it turns into six damage, making the game a lot quicker. If you are the last surviving player in the game, you're the winner of Nuns with Nunchucks. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Let's talk about my review. So as you can guess, Nuns with Nunchucks is similar to party games like Bears and Babies, Exploding Kittens, uh, and, and those type of like party slash card take that games. It plays very simple. I go, okay, I'm, it's my turn. I'm gonna play this pack of monkeys. It does three damage to my opponent. These will go in here and I'll place three damage on you. And then I'm gonna go ahead and choose a card from my hand and put it on the table. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw a card back to five. Uh, the game can actually get more intense though, or have some more strategy to it. You might think, oh, it's just play a card pass, but because of combos, which makes this game the most, the most appealing to me, is you can do certain things like this. Let me show you. I can go ahead and play this five energy drinks uh, past their bedtime. So let's say I've got some damage on me. I play this 
and then I can go ahead and remove these three, because that's what it says, heal three health. And then it has a little go again symbol, which is going to let me play another card on my field here. So I can go ahead and say, okay, I'm gonna play that intern whose name everyone forgets. That has a stealth symbol, allowing me to play a card from my hand. So I'll go ahead and play a toddler juiced up on multivitamins. And then all of a sudden I can double the attack and healing for the next card that I use. Now, and then if I could play this card and it was attack or healing, I would double that damage. Or if I didn't want to do that one, I could simply play a Supreme Court Justice who has Chainsaw Hands. That's going to do two more damage to my opponent, and it's going to let me go again. So I could play this Prison Yard Magician, steal a card from an opponent on deck, and then place it into my hand. So I can go ahead and do that. I can go ahead and select the card I want from this player here, and it goes to my hand. Now I have no cards left on deck, and I have no more actions to take because I have no more go-agains. The Prison Yard Magician just simply let me do that special power. So I'll select up to three cards because I have no cards on my, on my deck, and I'll place them out. I'll go that one, that one, that one, and uh, that one. So now I've got my three cards on deck, and then I'm going to draw back up to a hand of five. And so that's kind of how the combinations in this game can work. Oh, another thing to note too is if you're missing a card on deck or in your hand, you're never going to be uh, getting them until the end of your turn. You'll put these guys down and then you'll draw back up to five. So throughout the game, as players go, you might like lose cards that you wanted to kind of combo with or cards might get switched around, et cetera, et cetera. It's, it's very straightforward as to how it plays. You know what cards you have and how you want to utilize your combinations, but things can get muddied uh, as the game goes along and, and you might not have you might have the best perfect laid plans and all of a sudden you've lost out on those plans because somebody's kind of goofed, goofed you up and messed messed you up so uh, those type of things can happen in the game uh, this is a family type party game it's one of those niche type of games where if you're looking for a game to play with your kids or uh, play with people who are not super into board games or card games and just kind of like dipping their feet in this is going to do really well with them, especially those people who like those small exploding kittens like card games. They have become very, very popular, and because they're very simple to play, they've got that fun, take that strategy, and there's some unique little combinations and tricks to the game that you learn as you go ahead and play along. Another thing to note is there's a wide variety of different types of cards in the game, uh, and they all do different things. Some of them are a little more powerful than others. You might have a beauty contestant who is also a gopher, only one attack, compared to a navy seal seal, which is two attack and one health. Uh, and so you have to find ways to kind of get rid of the worst cards you have and, and or play them in, in combination with other cards so you can get other better cards in the game. The special cards are also a nice little twist to the game as well. I might want this toddler and I might have this depressed motivational speaker so I can do double damage and double healing and all of a sudden now this 2-2 becomes a 4-4 with this card in combination. The combinations are just simply fun and enjoyable and really easy and straightforward. Uh, then we have uh, the art for the game. This is kind of like your Sunday uh, morning paper type cartoon style art. It's fun, it's quirky, it's cute. It's not overly complex or complicated in any way, but it does the job perfectly for a little family type card game and I enjoy them. They're funny. Most of the cards in here are fairly inoffensive. They're just kind of silly and jokey. There's a, a little bit of political cards I suppose in here, uh, but for the most part all the cards in here are just kind of silly. You got a goat with an Olympic gold medal or ADD medication top tacos, a leopard, uh, leper leopards, so their little limbs are falling off, a psychic caveman, Bigfoot with early onset male pattern baldness, and as I went through the cards, I had a lot of fun reading them and uh, seeing their little flavor texts, like the a genetically modified tuna sal salad sandwich. I have, a na I have named him Noodles. And so there's just some fun, fun, cool little flavor and pieces and bits that I liked attached to the game. I love the combinations, the artwork worked really well for the the game while being straightforward and simple it was funny and and cute and quirky I, I love the idea of combinations though that's probably my favorite aspect of the game and how I can combo and mess other people's combos up or I can kind of craft the best hand and use these cards down here to kind of like okay I have this hand these are the cards I don't want I get rid of those and I start kind of laying down my combo and players suddenly see what I have and I can defeat you the end of the game is nice too it makes the game speedier this is a player elimination game but it's so quick it doesn't really matter um, but uh, when you do double damage because there's only two people left that speeds up the game as well and it, yeah, it changes up the strategy you have to kind of modify what cards you want to play based on knowing that you're gonna receive double damage and so will your opponents and there's a little bit of math involved 
if you're not into these family type take that card games, this game is not going to be for you. It'll be on the lower like four, five end scale of the spectrum. But if you are somebody who has kids or family game nights, or you want to go ahead and take this out for a drinking game or at a party or whatever, this is going to work very well. This is on the solid like seven, eight scale for that type of game. I know it's going to be specifically niche. It's only going to be brought out in certain occasions, but when it is, it's a lot of fun. And I really, really enjoyed it. I think for the most part people who see this game and think they would probably like it will like it and for those of you who won't, won't. It's kind of one of those type of things. So Nuns with Nunchucks is a solid funny little game. Oh and other controversial combatants. That's the little key line down there. But yeah a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Nuns with Nunchucks. If you're interested in picking up the game there's a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and find the game. You can also go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe subscribe, hit that bell notification button, it greatly does help us out here, and of course uh, the link in the description for all of our stuff, including our website, our Patreon, and our live streams every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST to play games like this one, and Wednesdays is on Whatnot, where we sell games. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and as always, I look forward to defeating you with a sniper ferret with a jetpack next time.